Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Vanquish versus Hopium, and this is going to be post Photon Hypernova, and let's hop right in. We're going to see Hopium win the Rock Paper Scissors shoot, and they'll decide to go first 40 versus 41. Opening hands, we have Tier Limit, Cash Tira, Planet, Dark Hole, Fenrir, and Birth, and then they have Big Welcome Labyrinth, Welcome Labyrinth, Lady Labyrinth, Extravagance, and Imperm. Okay, so we're going to have Labyrinth going up against Tier Limit, uh, Labyrinth going first, very strong. Um, also, like, this card can set Metaverse, and then that can get you to Necker Valley, which is really good. But they're going to go ahead and activate Extravagance to start off. Go ahead, Banish, and draw. Uh, so, Banish 6, drawn to Keldo and Labyrinth, Labyrinth. Okay, um, fair enough, I guess they play Shizus. Uh, they're good to mill, if the opponent tries to mill against you. And I guess, I was going to say, yeah, I guess your deck doesn't really have that many normal summons. Uh, activate. And then they're going to go ahead and activate because a Labyrinth card or a normal trap card is activated this turn. Make sure people are activating normal trap cards when they're doing this. And then they're going to set three, pass, draw Cash Tira Unicorn. Special summon out Cash Tira Unicorn. This can't be destroyed by Dark Hole. If you read it, while you control a set card, your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. Also, it cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. And then that's pretty much it besides like uh, the effect to go ahead and set when a normal trap card is activated quick effect you could set one normal trap card with a different name directly from your deck so special summon out unicorn and then they're gonna go uh, i guess they activate the effect and they're gonna impermanent and then they're gonna use lady labyrinth effect to go ahead and set weight measuring this card says if your opponent controls at least two or more monsters than you do they must send monsters they control to the graver so they control one uh, it's, it's it's decent it, it's not that great if you have monsters or a monster uh they're gonna activate planet chain big welcome to summon because then the field spell will allow them to pop planet new chain link ariana effect go search for labyrinth ku clock which they can discard so that way they can activate the weight measuring that they just set because if you read it quick effect you can discard this card this turn you can activate one normal trap card that was set this turn if you control a labyrinth monster so then activate birth, activate dark hole. I was about to say this doesn't go. Um, and they're gonna go special summon Fenrir. Dark hole didn't really seem like it did much. I mean, you get rid of this, which is nice, but Keldo does the same thing on field that it doesn't grave. So on Fenrir, summon activate welcome labyrinth, go summon out lovely labyrinth, and then field spell pop. It's so broken that like you get double pop with it now. Uh, but they're gonna go ahead and bring out the lovely labyrinth uh, we'll read over this real quick your opponent can activate monster effects in response to the activation of your normal trap cards and then uh you can target one normal trap card in your graveyard set to your field but cannot be activated unless you control a fiend monster you know that's only on your turn though and then if another monster leaves the field by your normal trap effect during except during the damage step you can destroy one card in your opponent's hand at random or field so right here they could go ahead and destroy because Fenrir just left because of Welcome Labyrinth. Because um, if you read this, it just gives the uh, effect to pop to the trap card. So they could use this right here, and they are going to. Uh, they're going to try to activate it. Do you have to declare? You can destroy one card. Okay, so no, you don't have to declare hand or anything. So they're going to summon this out, and then they still get to destroy. Does it. What? You can destroy one card in your opponent's hand at random or their field. Okay, so it's not like you decide. You decide a resolution. Okay, so they messed up with that. Um, I mean, as expected, trap players aren't the best players. Keldo, go ahead, shuffle back. Um, and then, all right, they're going to go birth effect, summon out. I was going to say, like, if you just pop birth and then all they have is a mill and you have Keldo, like, that's that's pretty strong, you know, as long as they don't mill, like, a tier limit catch Tira. Or maybe any Shizu to try to mill 5. They're going to activate the Ku Clock now. So that way they can activate their weight measuring whenever they'd like. But they're going to overlay. Summon out the Dark Arm. They put this in the tier build? Okay. Summon. And then they're going to activate the effect. Go ahead and pop. And then... Alright, they're going to go ahead and use the effect. Pop. And, you know, pop, banish, pop, banish. But can't, can't this just banish any card from your graveyard? Then banish one card from your grave. Yeah, like... When, it, when didn't you just, like... I guess banish, like dark hole over like tier limit cash tier because like it's still a tier name it's nice and grave um so we're gonna pump this and then yeah because this gets you to traps easier they just use it to set back okay they draw keldo 
Um, then they're going to go ahead and activate Big Welcome Labyrinth, which will be able to bounce the Dark Arms here. Um, when a normal Trap Card is activated... Okay, so not its effect, though. Okay, so they're not going to be able to set there. Then they're going to go ahead and Welcome Labyrinth the set because the monster just left because of a trap. Switch. Normal Summon Keldo. Battle Phase. Attack. Attack. Pass. Draw Papayas. And then they're just going to admit defeat. Okay, so moving on into the next game now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to see Vanquish decide to go first. Opening hands, we got Kashtira, Rise Heart, Planet, Tier Limit, Kashtira, Scareclaw, Kashtira, and Tasking. They have Extravagance, Imperm Extravagance, Big Welcome Labyrinth, and Ariana. So they're going to go activate Planet, go search Shaylin. Then Shaylin effect. What is that noise? <laughs> it sounds crazy, whatever noise that is. It's like... It's like a bird pecking at a tree, but like electronic. What? Okay, I, I I've heard it for like the last minute, and I was like, right, I'm just going crazy. I'll just I'm just gonna stop, and then like I just keep hearing it. I that was wild. Okay, but they're gonna discard two limit cash tier mill three hits another two limit cash tier. Go ahead mill two, um, mill Shaylin Merly new chain link Shaylin effect. Go ahead put itself in two limit cash tier back to bring out Kikalos, and then Kikalos effect on summon chain imperm on it. Then they're going to go Scareclaw, Kashtira, Banish to Summon Out, and then Summon Rise Heart. Rise Heart effect to go Banish Papayas, make itself level 7, Banish 3 from the opponent's deck. Um, Papayas to add back Tier Limit, Kashtira, Overlay, Summon Out, Shangri-La. Then they're going to go Set Tasking, Pass, they draw Welcome Labyrinth. Okay, so, like, they got hurt really bad by Imperm. There's a lot of times where, like, if you're going to get hurt really bad by Imperm, you should actually just like plan it pop kit to mill five. Um, but I guess that's if your deck has more good mills. I guess it depends what's in their deck exactly. But pass, they draw welcome labyrinth. Or, yeah. I feel like they already had. I don't know. I don't know. Bring up Henry. Either way, they drew one of the welcomes. Activate extravagance, go banish and draw. And then that draws into Stovey, Torby, and Evenly. Okay, okay. Uh, that's a pretty good evenly. Then they're gonna lock a zone because Cardos banished face down. They're gonna go battle phase evenly. Okay, so they're gonna leave themselves with just the XYZ and then stove effect, discard itself, and welcome labyrinth. Go set the field spell, then activate tier limit, cash Tira, banish Merly, summon effect to mill three. Only mills crime. Okay, so I mean, you get the add back Merly. But, you know, you're not getting, like, interruptions here. Normal summon Ariana. Ariana effect. Go search. That's going to go search out for Silver Castle. And then activate Silver Castle. Summon itself out. Um, after that, activate the field spell. Set Welcome Labyrinth. Pass. Digital Tasking. And then they're going to activate Big Welcome. Um, oh, because this effect, you can only use each effect this once per turn. Wait. Why did we not welcome Labyrinth maybe during our end phase to, like, bounce, effect, pop? I guess maybe you don't want to pop. That's once per turn, right? Uh, oh, wait. This isn't even the right one. Never mind. I am very dumb. <laughs> yeah, th this is the good one. So they're going to go banish, uh, bounce back, Ariana effect to draw one, and then special summon if they'd like. They're going to go ahead and summon back out the Stovey. Um... But, okay. You can go ahead and do that. Activate tasking. Tasking. Go search talons. Okay, they're going to go grab papayas, not talons. And then normal summon Merly. Merly effect. Go mill three. Mill Shaylin. Unicorn. Merly. Activate Shaylin effect. Go ahead. Put back. Bring out Kikalos. Activate the Kikalos effect now to go search. So that'll go ahead and search out for tier limit cash Tira. Kikalos, tag out, chain tier limit, cash tier. Oh, you know, we're not chaining tier limit, cash tier. We're just showing them what we searched. So, try to mill eight. Oh, uh, that's going to mill Havnus, Rhino, Merly, Unicorn, Shaylin, New Chain Link, Havnus one, Merly two, put back Merly, Kikalos, bring out Rukalos, and then put back Shaylin, Rhino. They probably should have used Welcome, right? Knowing that they could go into Rukalos, and this negates activation. So, then it's going to, like, completely shut this down. But, wait. Um, no, it's the wrong one again. Yep. The other one is the one that says, like, they can't do anything in response. So, bring out Kikalos, Rukalos. 
And then Link in the Sprint, Sprint effect of Merly, Merly effect again. Okay, well, their opponent didn't catch it, but they used four tier names this turn. They just used Merly twice. They get Kit, Rukalos, Kit, Drago. Four fusions, obviously it's not adding up. Um, I'm pretty sure Lavender just lost here anyways. Rukalos negate. Um, they're trying to pop with this, but that's not going to work. If the activation is negated, there's no, there's no effect. It's not resolving. So, well, that, that works out, I guess. They bring out a Dragos to pay illegally. The opponent pops it illegally. Sure, let, that at least it fixes it a little bit. Papayas bring out Fenrir. You're supposed to be in defense. Um, then they're going to go Fenrir. So, two limit cast here. Go for Dark Armed. Effect. Um, they're going to go ahead and try to pop the field spell. Effect. Pop. And then they're going to go two limit cast here. Banish to summon. Um, they haven't Papaya's effect this turn, so they can go ahead and do that to add back. Grab back Birth. Activate Birth. Birth effect. Summon back out Rise Heart. Overlay. Go for Shangri-La. Rise Heart effect. Go banish Big Bang. Oh, banish Unicorn. Okay. I guess it's because we're going to summon a Rise Heart. Yeah, over that. Battle phase, attack, effect to attack. I feel like they was just like, couldn't you just put Rise Heart over Shangri-La and just like attack for game? This isn't game, right? This is off. 14. Um, yeah, it's just like way off. You should have just gone for game. I feel like people do that a lot where they're trying to set up a bunch, but like there's just no point when you just simply have game. Like, boop, easy, GG's. Um, they didn't go for that. Uh, they definitely had it, though. They definitely had it, though. Because they had 14, 3,000, 3,000, 15, banish face down. You just never you just never pop the field spell because the card doesn't do anything. So you pop both monsters, banish the other one. 3k, 3k, 15, 14. I mean, that's, that's 89 right there. So that's just game. Um, activate extravagance, go banish. Yeah, and then draw Keldo, weight measuring. Once they pop the field spell with this, I don't think they had game because this card can't attack for the rest of the turn. Uh, Rise Heart effect to attach, Shangri-La to lock another zone. So they're just locking the spell in Trap Zone. I mean, they're never going to use like all their monster zones anyways. So just lock those. Set Keldo, set weight measuring. They're going to go a Rise Heart, banish. And then they're going to go ahead and effect, effect. So lock a back row zone and equip. The opponent's going to admit defeat there then. And on to the next game. Did we really not equip Papayas or anything there off that either? I just realized that. Because um, I was just thinking about how to go for game. But we got Star Rotation, Planet, Shaylin, Prime Planet, Kashtira. They have Chandelier, um, Stovey, Welcome Labyrinth, Weight Measuring, and Medora. And then they're going to go Effect, Discard that and that. Go ahead, Set Big Welcome. And then set two more, pass turn, they draw a unicorn, activate welcome, bring out Lady Labyrinth. Then activate Prime Planet, Prime Planet goes search for Scareclaw, catch Tira, special summon out unicorn, unicorn effect. Unicorn's gonna go search out for Papayas. And then activate Planet, maybe it was just correct to like summon unicorn and see if they interrupt it and then go Prime Planet because you're just such another unicorn if they just like pop it on summon. Uh, planet, go search Havnus, and then they're gonna go Shaylin effect, summon out Shaylin, discard Havnus, smell three, new chain link, Havnus effect. So put back Havnus, put back Rhino, bring out Kikalos, and then activate Kikalos effect one, planet two. So try to pop, they're gonna chain the weight measuring, and then chain Lady Labyrinth. Okay, well, I guess in response to the trap, they're gonna chain set rotation. So that way this gets blocked. Kind of like a uh, Thunder Dragon Titan would. And then they have to send those because the weight measuring, Kikalos effect, tag out. Also, set rotation seems insane versus that deck. Mill 5, Mills Merly, Tier Limit, Cash Tira, Havnus, Shaylin, Merly. Okay, new chain link, Shaylin 1, Merly 2, uh, Medora 3, Cash Tira 4. I don't know why you'd use both names if your opponent has Medora. If you just activate one, your opponent's forced to respond to it anyways. Um, not sure what just happened there. But they're going to go ahead, activate Papayas, Chain Big Welcome, Chain Lady Labyrinth. 
So, oh, I guess in response to the trap, they're going to chain the scare claw catch Tira so they get to. Also, Fenrir is supposed to be in defense. You got to wait for them to, to resolve this. Wait. I just realized I never even resolved this correctly, game one. Yeah, it wouldn't have made the biggest of difference, but they did not res do this correctly. So, this card says special one, one Labyrinth monster from your hand, deck or graveyard, then return one monster you control to the hand. It's not optional, you have to return one to hand, which is also why it works with Bestials. Um, but yeah, they didn't get it game one, they did it this game. I think they think it's optional, but it's actually mandatory to return one to hand. Uh, then they're going to activate Ariana effect. Go search also for Papaya summons in defense. People have to start catching this. It's literally such a big difference. Go search Rysar. I know I'm always whack about the attack and defense status of monsters, but it's Fenrir. It literally is one of the only cards in the game that has like a battle phase poke effect that's actually playable. Um. Oh, and they can also add... Is it when any monster leaves the field? A monster. Oh. Oh, okay, so it's not just opponent's monsters, so you can, okay, I guess that works with the engine a lot better, uh, then they're gonna go battle phase, attack over, attack with 24, attack with 18, and then they're gonna try to pass, end phase, summon out the lady labyrinth, uh, if, oh, why you control a set card, they do have a set card, I was gonna say they could try to Fenrir banish, they draw weight measuring, standby phase effect, go summon out Fenrir, and then they're going to switch to attack, battle phase, attack over Fenrir, and then main phase 2, set weight measuring and big welcome, and then pass turn. Uh, they could have used the graveyard effect of this though, to, yeah, because you can only use one effect of it once per turn. Okay, yeah, they could have used the effect, bounce back Shangri Law, because now we're going to go activate weight measuring, chain to go set, and then we're going to see tiered met defeat there. Offer a rematch. Uh, I mean, do you have anything else to say? No, okay, I was going to say. Uh, I mean, I kind of want to show off a different Labyrinth player. Just because it kind of seemed like this player is making some mistakes. Their list is a little bit weird. Um, but that's okay. You know, we're going to go over more Labyrinth decks in the future too. So we'll be able to compare and contrast and see which ones are actually better. Um, trap decks are definitely a little bit behind right now. Especially with how nice tier it is. But I think in the future, there's, there's a decent chance that Labyrinth becomes, like, you know, top five best decks. Um, but with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.